it's this kind of young, vital, vibrant, energetic play. And most of the time people think they know it or treat it like a museum piece or, you know, do it in traditional dress with traditional kind of voices. And um, I think that's something that we've seen enough of and I wanted to see what you could do with it and you know, whether or not you could take that classic Model T chassis of a car, put a jet engine underneath it and then thrash it around a paddock and see what flies off it. You've got the, the genuine gut responses of 10 amazing young artists who are playing across a, a variety of mediums. You know, it's, it's a show that has animation in it. It's a show that has um, music, some of which has actually been arranged by the cast. It's got some original stuff in it. Um, it's got them talking about their own lives based on the stimulus of the scenes and the situations. Um, so what you're getting is these 10 people sharing with you their lives and in doing so taking you on a ride that actually equates to the dramaturgical arc of Romeo and Juliet. The rules of creating a foolproof mixtape are thus. One, have a tape, a canvas on which to record. And a place to Two, choose your target audience. Who are you making the goddamn tape for anyone? Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Greater than, less than Romeo ampersand Juliet is uh, an experiment uh, looking at an intersection between form and narrative and seeing what happens and what kind of friction could be created and rubbing them up against each other and whether or not that's bound to end in tragedy.